Oh, that's way. It's filming us. Okay. It is an absolutely top-notch first day of spring. The first day this year that I've been able to wear one pair of pants and a hoodie. And I am freaking stoked! Hell yeah! The weather here is like, um, we get about two months where it's smoldering hot and two months where it's freezing cold and the rest of the year is pretty much hoodie weather. My favorite time of the year. So spring appears to be upon us according to the weather man chart thing like all next week is supposed to be 70s ish it's supposed to be up to 80 today which is unbelievable so we are gonna cruise out to the edge of the lake and smash some packs and let the dog run around and play and do her thing now she's uh, pretty much all healed up from her excursion at the vet glad to have her back home so here we go out of the city Hopefully there's not a whole shitload of people out here, being that it's a beautiful day. We shall see. Onward, please. Hey, what's your doing, buddy? <laughs> Man, I am so freaking stoked! It's so nice out here! <laughs> One pair of pants and a hoodie. Oh, I feel so freaking good! I don't, it's, I don't know, does it sound weird? Like, when I have all those clothes on in the winter and it's cold out, it's like hard for me to fly. I feel all constricted. <laughs> like my neck strap doesn't fit right and shit. Shit! Alright, so couple things like my last couple videos a couple people commented that um they were having problems watching them because they were freezing up it's because i have this new cam right here let's see this guy right here hi and uh i had it like on 4k and like 100 megabits per second like i don't know the the it didn't convert well it was on it wasn't on mp4 it was on like VIS some other video format and it obviously YouTube didn't like it so you could only watch those videos if you went to the settings on YouTube and put it in like 1080p high def or whatever so anyway I changed the format on the camera so hopefully we don't have that problem anymore and now butterfly they released a new butterfly um, 3.4 the 3.3 that was in my first video was just like experimental I guess but now it actually has like flash targets and it's official like 3.4 um, so I put it on this here quad this morning we're gonna test her out and see what happens now this quad has the Maytech um, Maytech uh, F405 in it so it can run 32 kilohertz but um, these ESCs cannot run 32 kilohertz so what I have is I have it and I'll put all the settings I, I did below like the butterfly is just a fork of beta, beta flight so like the settings are you know the configuration is the same like you set your S bus and reverse props and your PIDs and rates and everything are the same but in the CLI there's some different commands and stuff like that I'll put them in the description below so you guys can check out what I did and what I did was run 32 kilohertz on the board and then only 4 kilohertz on the um, loop so that only gave me like a 41 percent CPU so I didn't even have to overclock the board because I don't know about the overclocking thing maybe it'll run smoother maybe it won't let's freaking see let's fly eh? let's check her out and like I said I'll put all the settings and everything I did in the description below
Sit in line. Stop bullshit for one more. My fly spot has been invaded by the munchkins and various other species. They all want to come stare at the foreigner. Right, honey? Yep. Nice hat. That's your hat. <laughs> Look at the fat dog, she's not even moving. <laughs> she can't get up now. Oh, sh oh, that's just her technique move that will mainly lose. She's saving up her energy.